All right, in chapter nine, we're gonna learn about Chenin Blanc, Semillon, and Ferment. Now bear with me, because we're going all over the place with these wines. The reason is, is because these wines are some of the most versatile grapes varieties that we're gonna learn about. So um, the that means these wines can be used to make outstanding dry and sweet wine styles all over the world. They have often high aging potential because of the high acidity. So as it ages in the bottle, it can change flavors and aromas. So that's another reason why these three varieties in your bottles are um, so versatile and different in flavors. They also can be aged um, in oak or unoaked. So again, you can get a lot of different styles of these varietals. And they can be made uh, in different area, all different areas of the world, and they can be blended with different wines. Um, again, creating more versatility in what we're experiencing with when we're drinking these varietals. Chenin Blanc, Simeon, and Ferment. Lastly, they are all subject to Boitritis and Noble Rot, so we can see some of those sweeter wines um, with these varieties. And let's go ahead and start with Chenin Blanc. Okay, Chenin Blanc is very versatile range of climates, so that means, again, it can be made um, from the dry to sweet style. The versatile range of climates ranges anywhere from cool to moderate to warm. So pretty much all over the grape growing regions, this grape can be grown and um, makes it more versatile. In the past videos, we've learned about Pinot Noir and Riesling being able to grow in cool and moderate. We've learned about Zinfandel Primitivo being able to grow in the warm climates. Chenin Blanc can grow in all cool, moderate, and warm climates. Um, this, ver uh, this grape is very versatile. Its high acidity gives it aging potential. The Chenin Blanc, and if you've had a Chenin Blanc that's aged really nice in the bottle, you can get these dried fruit, honey, and nuts. So some of the most outstanding wines um, for Chenin Blanc are going to have these flavors. It's also susceptible to noble rot, like the rest of the varieties in this video. And that means those are gonna be used to make your sweeter wines. Can also be oaked or unoaked. Now, Chenin Blanc can be, it's so versatile, it, um, its flavors and aromas can change depending on when the grape is picked. It can be picked early when it's just ripe, and we're gonna see that, um, so, well, I don't know about that. I'm not gonna say that because I'm not sure that's true. So you can pick it early, or you can wait and get some more tropical fruits um, and pick it when it's extra ripe. Okay, so Chenin Blanc, um, it can also be blended with different varieties. However, in France, um, there's a region called Vouvray. So I wanna take you to the Loire Valley and show you what Loire Valley looks like and show you where Bouvray is. So, um, hang on one second, we'll start on this map. This is France. France lies between the 50th and the 42nd Northern Hemisphere latitude. So in general, France is, you know, cool to moderate, depending where you are, cool to moderate temperatures. Okay, so 
in Lower Valley, it's a little bit probably cooler Chenin Blancs being produced there. Lower Valley, and you zoom into Vouvray is right here. This is a sub-region of Lower Valley in France where Chenin Blanc is grown. This is what it looks like on this map. Kind of hard to tell. And on this map, you've got Lower Valley and you've got Vouvray kind of to the eastern side of Lower Valley, but kind of central to France. In all of France, Vouvray is kind of central. And that, and in Vouvray, they only make Chenin Blanc. So if you see on a label, Vouvray, you know it's a Chenin Blanc single variety unoaked because in Vouvray, this subregion, it's the only grape they can grow and they're not allowed to oak it. You can also get the Boitritis Noble Rot and you can make a sweeter style from Chenin Blanc in Vouvray, France. Okay. So the next place that we're gonna learn about Chenin Blanc is South Africa. Now Chenin Blanc is known for retaining its high acidity in warmer climates. So we talked about France kind of being anywhere from cool to moderate. Now we're all the way in South Africa where it's a little bit warmer. Um, and the Chenin Blanc grape is interesting because on our map, it doesn't really show us where Chenin Blanc grows. If we were to go to the, um, the map of South Africa in the back of our book, nowhere here does it say Chenin Blanc on this map, map of South Africa. But in the book, it talks about Chenin Blanc being grown in the inland areas of South Africa. And it's often blended with Chardonnay. So this versatile grape can be blended in Vouvray. It's not allowed to be blended based on the um, Vouvray AOC standards. But in South Africa, it's blended to give Chardonnay a lift in acidity. Chardonnay is, um, can be medium acidity and Chenin Blanc is high in acidity, so it boosts that acidity. Um, it can also give it a depth and complexity when blended with Chardonnay. So one of, the, one of the versatilities of this grape is that it can be blended. And in South Africa, you see that. It's often blended with Chardonnay. Um, you can also use old vines in South Africa to get more tropical fruit. So that's a higher concentration of um, fruit juice on the grape when you're using an old vine. We're gonna have lower yields, higher concentration, and you'll have more tropical fruits. And it's sometimes oaked. In Vouvray, unoaked. This, you're not gonna find an oaked Vouvray or an oaked Chenin Blanc from the Vouvray subregion of France. All right, so just a couple different styles. This Chenin Blanc is also sometimes blended with Viognier to get more floral aromas and um, give Viognier a boost in acidity. All right, so that is it for the Chenin Blanc grape. Now we're going to move to Semillon. All right, similar to Semillon, we are susceptible to Boitritis Noble Rot, or similar to Chenin Blanc. All the grapes in this video we're learning about are susceptible to Noble Rot. Um, we have medium to high acidity on the Semillon, and the spelling varies Based on in France, it'll have this little tilde over the E. In all the English-speaking countries, it's not going to have the tilde over the E. 
Okay. Um, Simeon is very versatile. It has many harvest options, can create dry or sweet wines, can be light or full body, can be unoaked or oaked. So we're just talking about its versatility here. And also it's sometimes blended with Sauvignon Blanc. Um, it, it's also very versatile because of its sometimes high acidity, it can age very well and get those dried fruit nuts on the Simeon. Okay. So um, in France, the um, Bordeaux AOC is where you're gonna get a lot of Simeon. I'm not exactly sure, but it's all, it's kinda, they said in several subregions, but they don't spell them out here specifically of Bordeaux, but Simeon is often blended in, with Sauvignon Blanc to get fuller body and to adjust the sweetness and provide aging potential. Sauvignon Blanc is a, it has high acidity and if you're Simeon, and, but it's also typically drink early. Sauvignon Blanc is typically drink early. So when blended with Simeon, it can age longer. And that's why it's often blended with Sauvignon Blanc. All right. Um, so when it's aged in the bottle, it can change its flavor profiles. So when it's youthful, you're gonna get citrus, green fruit, and um, grassy herbal notes. And then when it's fully developed, you're gonna start getting the tertiary flavors of dried fruits, nuts, and honey. Okay, back to Bordeaux. So again, Semillon can be grown in several subregions. The main place in France where Semillon is grown is in the Bordeaux region. Let's look at the big map to see where that is. We just talked about Vouvray in the Loire Valley and how Chenin Blanc is a single variety grown there. Now we're talking about Simeon in the Bordeaux. You can see it says Simeon there on your map in Bordeaux. In several subregions, Simeon is grown. However, we're going to learn about Sauternes. So, Sauternes is a specific subregion within Bordeaux that has morning fog. And since this grape is susceptible to Boitritis noble rot, in Sauternes, with the morning fog, we're going to get some of that noble rot. So, Semillon is the most important grape grown in Sauternes. Sauternes is a place, and it's also a style of wine. The style is a sweet wine made from grapes concentrated by Boitritis. So, as we learned, Chenin Blanc can be susceptible to Boitritis, noble rot. The grape we're about to learn, ferment, can be susceptible to Boitritis, noble rot. And Semillon is also susceptible to Boitritis, noble rot. And in Sauternes, Semillon is the main grape grown. Um, and they use it when it's um, received that Boitritis, noble rot for a Sauternes style of wine. A sweet wine made from grapes with concentrated by boy Tritus noble rot. All right. Um, lastly, in all of Bordeaux, you will often um, you'll often blend it with Sauvignon Blanc, and you also um, will oak it. Okay. So. Moving on to Australia. So Bordeaux, just for recap, is in the Northern Hemisphere. And it's kind of moderate climate because it's from the 45, 40 to 45 Northern Hemisphere latitude is more moderate. Um, in Australia, or in South Africa, 
sorry, South Australia. We've got Australia. <clears throat> Here's Australia. We're kind of between, now we're in the Southern Hemisphere, so it's a little bit hotter up here, and we're between the 30 to 40s, and it's um, pretty warm in most places, unless you have things like mountains and cool breezes. Okay, so on the, um, in New South Wales, let's see here. New South Wales on the big map. In New South Wales, so the northeastern side of Australia is where we're going to here. There's this place called Hunter Valley. The Hunter Valley Zoo is at 32 degree latitude, so it's pretty warm there. A lot warmer than probably France. Um, in Hunter Valley. This is a uh, single variety Simeon, so they're not blending it in Hunter Valley and they're harvesting it early when sugar levels are low and acidity is high. And it's bottled young, drink it later. It's a light bodied style um, Simeon. Remember back in Bordeaux, we're blending it with Sauvignon Blanc to get the fuller body. In Australia, we're at least in Hunter Valley, we're not blending it. It's hotter. We're gonna get that grape off early so it doesn't get overripe. And we're gonna put it in the bottle and uh, have its acidity make it last longer. So this is gonna be a light body wine. Single variety in Hunter Valley. Okay, then we also have what's called Barossa Valley. Now this is on the west side of Australia. Let's go over here. Um, Barossa Valley is a little bit near Adelaide. Um, if you recall, let me get the map of, to show you exactly where Barossa Valley is because it's important. Here's Australia, talked about Hunter, Val Hunter Valley, Simeon's Young Light Heart Single Variety. Um, it's pretty warm over here, so get it off the vine early. Then we have Barossa Valley over here, kind of in between Clare Valley and Eden Valley. And you recall the mountain ranges that allow Riesling to grow in Clare Valley and in Eden Valley. Barossa Valley sits in between those two. So with that grape, Simeon and Barossa Valley, they do make wines similar in style to Hunter Valley where they take it off the vine early, light bodied, but they also make fuller bodied wide range of styles in Barossa Valley. All right. Um, they also blend it in Verosa Valley. Hunter Valley is single variety. Simeon is often blended with Sauvignon Blanc, like it is in Bordeaux, blended with Sauvignon Blanc to get that fuller bodied aging potential. So if you see a, a Simeon from Hunter Valley, you know it's gonna be light bodied. And <clears throat> if you see a Simeon, um, it could be blended with Chardonnay if it's in the Bordeaux region of France. If you see a Sauternes, you know it's going to be affected by Nor Boitritis noble rot. It may or may not be a Simeon, but Simeon is the most important grape in Sauternes. So it's highly likely that in Sauternes, if you see a bottle of Sauternes, it's could highly likely be a semi-on grape. All right, the last grape in this video is ferment. Ferment, similarly susceptible to Boitritis noble rot, high acidity, and it's mostly grown in Tokaj, Hungary. 
Um, this one is like less versatile than the other two, but it's still versatile. Um, and it's only grown in moderate temperatures. It's not grown in the cool and the warm like the Chenin Blanc. And the Semillon was just the moderate and warm. Now we get to ferment and it's just the moderate climates, pretty much grown in Tokaj, Hungary. Um, it's still a versatile grape. You can make dry to sweet wines. And when it's aged in the bottle very nicely, you can get the dried fruit caramel nuts. It's the most planted grape um, in Tokaj. I'd like to show you a map of where that is. So I'm trying to pull it up over here. Okay, this is Hungary. And to give everyone a better idea of that, let's just look at the map of Europe. Okay, and let's zoom out. So here we are. Um, so we've talked about France. Bordeaux, Simeon, Sauvignon Blanc blends, um, Boitritis Noble Rot and Sauternes. We talked about Loire Valley, France, Vouvray, single variety, Chenin Blanc. And we've talked about a little bit um, on the Southern Hemisphere, we've talked about South Africa or Australia. And now we're in Hungary. This is where ferment is. So here's your map of Hungary. It's the same map here. And this is the Tokaj region where ferment is grown. High acidity, green citrus fruits, and famous for the Tokaj Azu. You know that ferment is susceptible to Boitritis noble rot. Toka Tokaj Azu is a sweet wine made from ferment grapes that are um, that have Boitritis noble rot. Here's an example um, of the label. So Tokaj Azu is a ferment grape. Um, it's a wine made from ferment that's been susceptible to Boitritis noble rot, so you know it's gonna be sweet. And it's also aged a long time, which allows that wine to be amber in color. And you can see on the label, it says five putunos. That is the level of sweetness. So it could say five putunos is less sweet than six putunos. So how sweet it is will be on the label. These are some of the best, most complex sweet wines in the world. The Tokaji Asu. Um, ferment is also often blended to get great aromas and complexity. So another versatile wine that can be blended. And you have another versatile wine that you can make dry to sweet, unoaked or oaked. So these three white varieties all have high to ferment and Chenin Blanc have high acidity. Simeon has medium to high acidity. So a lot of these can age a while in the bottle. They all can be made dry or sweet. They all can be oaked or unoaked. They all are susceptible to Boitritis noble rot. Um, and the Chenin Blanc can be made in cool, moderate, and warm. So we're talking about the moderate temperatures of France in Vouvray for Chenin Blanc. Um, the warm temperatures in South Africa. Semillon can be made in moderate and warm. So we're talking about the moderate temperatures of Bordeaux and the warmer temperatures in Australia, like Hunter Valley and Barossa Valley. And then the ferment is in moderate only, which we saw from the Europe, Bordeaux is here. Bordeaux is moderate temperature and it's the same latitude as Hungary. So Hungary is a moderate temperature. Okay, I think that's it. I'm just gonna kind of scan through here and make sure I didn't miss anything. 
Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it. If a Vouvray Chenin Blanc is off dry in flavor, it will say Demi Sec on the label. Um, also, you can have those old vines in South Africa for Chenin Blanc. The Sauternes is your um, Simeon grape in the Sauternes region of France. It's not always a Simeon, but often is because it's the primary grape grown in Sauternes. And that's your moderate climate for your Sauternes. Then you have your warmer climate in Hunter Valley, Australia, where the grape is picked early. And then you have Hungary, where you make um, Tokaji Azu, one of the most complex sweet wines in the world. Um, effect is a semion affected by Boitritis noble rot. And lastly, um, Ferment is made in Hungary. Oh, this one is also. This is made of Ferment, not Simeon, I apologize, in Hungary. Okay, a lot to learn there with those really versatile grapes. And that's the end of chapter nine.